How can you actually create an integrated system of care that will eventually lead to better outcomes, better health, and also control cost? Healthcare right now, where we have a shared resource, we're overgrazing it, and it's all going to go bust. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect to improve quality. You really have to systematically redesign the way care is delivered. Robert Wood Johnson Foundation had the vision to say, we have to transform the way care is given. Humboldt County is located in very rural Northern California have about 130,000 people. It's a poor community. Economic health and geographic isolation are really challenging combination. The very first stage of Aligning Forces for Quality was to integrate the work of medical providers, the employers, and the consumers. Our community doesn't have a lot of large employers like some other communities in Aligning Forces for Quality. So we've been working with small businesses. We have 320 casino workers here. Native Americans make up probably right around 10% uh, of the population in Humboldt County. I would say that our employees are a sample set of a larger population, indicative of the health care problems within the community. Blue Lake Casino pays for the care, and we think that, that we should have a say in how that care is delivered. So there's a business side of it, but then there's also a human side, you know, genuinely caring for them as a person. Aligning Forces has been really helpful for the employers because our performance measures and public reporting give them a tool to use for their new employees about where they could seek medical care. They wanted us to do public reporting to put the results on a website so that members of the public could essentially log on and say, geez, let's see how my doctor is doing in terms of his quality measures. We really believe that engaging the consumers is really important on many levels. First, engaging people to take better care of their own health. And we do that through our Pathways to Health. It's a chronic disease self-management program. I was diagnosed with diabetes about eight years ago. I think that dealing with any chronic disease, people are going to be afraid. But now I belong to Pathways to Health, a group to help people with their self-management. The big goal is that we want people to be able to participate in their own healing effectively. From Pathways has grown a whole cadre of individuals who say, hey, we need to also transform our healthcare community, and I want to help do that. You know, we essentially try to get together and see how we can work better as a team to improve care for our patient population. Through team-based care, personnel that work in the various small practices who had jobs such as medical assistant or receptionist began to see themselves as medical professionals. Now, sometimes patients are going to be more likely to be honest with you if they're having some problems with medication side effects or maybe they can't afford the medicines, maybe there are other reasons. So we have to try to find what the barriers are. If they're not at our goals, it's not because they're a failure, it's because we have to work harder together to try to work as a team. Can I comment on that? Because I think that that whole business of being an intelligent partner to that healing process is, is very hard for people. I think having a patient in our meeting gives a good perspective, uh, helping us all uh, learn how we can work better together to help our patients lead a healthier life. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? My name's Arzu, I'm from the Care Transitions Program. Care Transitions is another core feature of Aligning Forces for Quality. Senior level nursing students from Humboldt State University provide coaching and empowerment for folks who are about ready to leave the hospital. 
What Care Transitions does is kind of prepare for a home visit. The goal of the home visit is to go over your medication, your disease processes, and anything that you don't understand about it. The big goal is to uh, prevent you from rehospitalization and following up with your primary We're now trying to align the incentives so that the employer saves money, the clinicians do the right thing, which is to keep people out of the hospital and emergency room, and then the patients get better care and have better outcomes. We all have these different models to improve the way healthcare is delivered, the way healthcare is received, and the way healthcare is paid for. But now what we need to do is share that. We need to be mentors to other communities across the nation to help them do the same thing. So hopefully in the next 10 years, we can have much more constellations in our uh, Aligning Forces for Quality community.